Nearly two years ago, I created a video called Best UK Car Leasing Deals, where I went through some of the websites that I like to use to find the best deals in the UK. But let's be honest, times have changed. 2020 and 2021, it looks very different. The market has changed, the economy's changed, COVID has hit, and it's caused a lot of disruption in the market. So let me show you some of the best websites that I've found to find the best car leasing deals in 2020. And I'll be honest, the days of a £200 a month Golf R are gone, but that doesn't mean that there's not some good deals out there. Now, I posted a little while back a video describing the differences between lease and finance, so check that out in the description below if you haven't seen that already, if you're confused between the two. Now, looking at this chart, you can see depreciation on new cars can be quite steep, and it's very important to bear this in mind because a lot of lease deals you'll find barely cover the cost of the depreciation, so you'd end up losing more money if you were to purchase the car. So ideally, you want the lowest percentage possible of the retail value across the whole course of your lease. So the sweet spot for a two-year deal is probably between 20 and 30%. The lower, the better. So that's something that we can use as a little benchmark here. So going into some details about my own cars, you can see on screen here the deals that I've had over the time that I've been leasing. And I always try and find deals that are below that 30% because that tends to be a good lease deal. And of course, as I say, the lower you can get, the better. And of course, this includes road tax as well. So that's a big saving, especially with today's tax brackets. So the first car I leased was a 2016 Golf GTD. You can see the values there, the initial payments and the monthly. So it was around 23.7% over the cost of two years. Um, the Cupra 300, it was 26.4, and the Cupra 290 I have now is 25.3. So you can see that these are some pretty decent deals. That's not to say that things over 30% are necessarily a bad deal. It's just that when you compare them to the amount of depreciation, you have to weigh up whether it's better to purchase or to lease. So of course, if the cost of a lease is going to be less, then you're in for a good deal, especially as you don't have to worry about selling the car at the end, and you have the tax paid for for the duration of the contract. The first website I'm going to show you isn't a comparison site at all, but it's a great resource for checking out the latest deals because people tend to discuss it on this forum very frequently, and that is the best lease car deals available thread on Piston Heads. This is volume 9, so you can see that people do chat on there quite a bit and um, they just create a new thread for each time it runs out. So if you head on to here and go to the final page in the thread that's available at the time, this will be the most up-to-date conversation where you can see people that are discussing deals right now. So you can see the latest conversation on here was yesterday. So as you can see, people are discussing all of the latest deals on here and you can certainly get a lot of information about leasing and what's good, what's bad, deals of time gone by and also kind of what the market's looking like at the moment. Definitely a good place to start if you're an absolute beginner into leasing and you want a bit more information on the deals that are out there. I often check back here just to see if there's any amazing deals that people have found while scouring the web. Now, the first website I want to show you is leaseloco.com. This is my absolute go-to now for looking at leasing deals because it makes it so simple. When I last did this video, this website wasn't really up and running in the way that it is now. So let's take a look at exactly how we can use this site to find some good deals. So um, you can put in here, you want a personal lease and you can choose the budget. So let's say, for example, £300 a month and just press find a deal. The good thing about Lease Loco is it shows you a nice, easy to understand score. So you see this 99 here and 98. This shows you the score that Lease Loco have given it as for how good of a deal that is. So what we can do is we can actually click into here. It tells you a bit more about the Lease Loco score. So we press find out more. This tells you information about the Lease Loco scoring. It shows you all of the different numbers and what exactly they mean. So You've got a 0 to 59, which isn't a great value deal at all. 60 to 69 is an average value. 70 to 79 is a good value. 80 to 89 is a great value. 90 to 99 is a crazy value. And 100 is the unicorn, um, which I've never seen, actually. So you can see exactly how good the deal is. And this is based on that percentage number that we talked about before. So a really low percentage deal will score highly on Lease Loco. Just makes it nice and easy for a beginner to see exactly how good of a deal they're getting. So realistically, anything above a score of around 80 is probably a pretty good deal indeed. So you can see on here all the different deals that are available. It shows you exactly where they're available, if there's stock available, and you can filter them down the side here so you can choose what type of fuel you want. So there's a lot of hybrids up here. So let's say we don't fancy a hybrid. We just want petrol. We can pop petrol on there. It will automatically filter out all the hybrids and just show us petrol vehicles. So you can see the best deal that they've found available is this Audi A4 uh, a 92 score so you can see the upfront cost and the monthly there so of course you can tweak that so if you wanted to put less deposit down for example you can put the total upfront maximum let's say 1500 and it will filter that 
again and so it will show us the uh, payment profile slightly differently here so you can see now it's a higher monthly and less upfront so you can tweak it and it's very very easy to use it's definitely the most user friendly website for finding lease deals and straight away you can see at the top here all the best deals on the market at the moment and if you want to do your own calculations of course you can the great thing about Lease Loco is once you click into a deal, it is still just as user friendly. So you can adjust the upfront fee and you can adjust the annual mileage and it will just cater to that exactly and update the score as well. So we can put that back down to 8,000. You can see the score goes up slightly. It also shows a historical price chart. So if there's any major price differences between now and a little while ago, it will show you, which is brilliant. And also it shows you a very, very detailed view of all of the different contracts available from different brokers and dealerships. So you can see all of them on this side. You can see whether it's an in-stock car or a factory order, what the cost difference will be, and you can message or call them directly from this screen. It is just so well laid out, so easy to use, and it is definitely my favorite um, site to use now that they've had a, a big overhaul definitely the place that I would go to first and foremost if you're looking for a particular car you can search for particular cars if you want that but of course when you're looking for lease deals it's always important to be open-minded and to look at what deals are on the market as opposed to chasing a specific car so another website I want to mention is leasing.com this is something that I left out of my previous video because it wasn't amazing at the time but they changed it shortly after I made that video and it's much better now it's very similar to lease loco in that you can put your requirements in so let's say let's have a monthly again of 300 uh, any make any model find my lease deal and so it's a very similar kind of tool you can filter at the top and it will show you the best deals that are going at the moment you can also um, filter them let's go show all deals so you can now see and it will also score it as well so it's a score out of 10 very similar in the way that lease loco do things um, and you can see again similar sort of deals on here this one will also show you on the left hand side where the vehicle is being offered from so you can see whether it's a main dealership or a broker um, just makes it a little bit easier to see but on leasing.com there is a lot more from uh, main dealers which is really useful sometimes main dealers don't list too often on the leasing websites of course main dealerships don't tend to offer deals as much as brokers do but you do occasionally get some regular deals especially companies like volvo say they do tend to offer um, quite a few deals through here and also audi i've seen quite a lot recently as well so it will show you the broker or the dealership on the left hand side as well so very similar at the very top you can adjust exactly what you want so you can go on the left hand side here the lease length so set that to 24 you can select three months initial rental exactly how many miles you want per year very similar to lease loco personally i prefer lease loco just because it is a little bit easier to use but this does tend to have a few more results as i say probably from main dealers and things like that so well worth checking this one out as well so on leasing.com you can click into the vehicle and see the vehicle details and then also go down and check out all of the financial information I definitely don't think this is very comprehensive in comparison to Lease Loco, so I would definitely prefer to use that site at this stage, but you can still get a quote directly from here, so that's nice and useful. And the last one I want to show you guys is cars2buy.co.uk. This is one that I've used personally before, and you can go on to personal leasing deals. I showed this in the last video, but I will show quickly again here. This is good if you're looking for a specific vehicle. You do also see the kind of hot deals as well down here. There's a few that you can cycle through. But in terms of if you want to search for a specific car, you know, you can go in here and you can select that car and do a search and then kind of narrow it down from there. And it will show you the featured deal at the top if there's any particularly good deals going at the moment. Unfortunately, there's no kind of easy scoring system or anything like that. So if you're a little bit more of an advanced Lisa, you know a bit more about what you're doing, what you're looking for, then this is quite a good site to look for specific cars because it shows quite a lot of different brokers as well. But definitely, um, I would I would recommend Lease Loco as my number one. As you can see, this is probably the easiest to use website. It shows you the most information at a glance. I think the design is fantastic, um, and it's just such an easy way of getting around things. So you know, even if we go for something a bit more high budget, let's go up to seven hundred a month, find a good deal. It will still show you exactly what the absolute best deals are. Um, and you can narrow that down. So if we're looking to filter out all of these cars in this price range and go for something in a higher price range, we can do that. Let's go from 450 to 700 and it will filter out all the cheaper cars and just show us more expensive stuff here. So you can see there still are some great deals on some more expensive cars. This Audi A8 Saloon, for example, it's got a score of 95. So this is going to be a low percentage deal, which is probably very good as well. So there's plenty to choose from on here and 
I think probably this is the go-to site. So that is it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions for me at all, you can either comment below and I'll try and get back to you or DM me on my Instagram, which is on screen now, ride with me underscore RWM. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you do have any questions about leasing versus finance, again, that is in the description below as well. So go and check that video out if you've got any concerns or questions as to what is right for you. Also, I've had loads of messages about people who have found deals off the back of my videos, and that's amazing to me. You know, the fact that I could help you find your next car is absolutely brilliant. So please pop in the comments below if you do get a car as a result of watching one of these videos. That would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, um, hit the bell, all that good stuff. It really helps me out, and I'll see you very shortly in the next one.